mes amis, hi guys, uh, today on my way to work I start a new mini series called Rotten Rolex. I say that as a wink, of course I love the brand. On my wrist uh, today I have the uh, discontinued uh, 39mm Explorer 2. Alright, so amidst the release of uh, some new models yesterday at uh, Watches and Wonders 2022, Rolex also discontinued a very important uh, variation of one of the models that has only been out for a bit over a year. It is uh, the uh, 41 millimeter version, the one people, well, the guys uh, want the most of the Tiffany dial. The 36 is still there, but they also discontinue, uh, I think, all sizes of the yellow and the coral red uh, dial. Watches that uh, have proven to be extremely popular and the Tiffany of course is trading uh, in the stratosphere probably the one that has uh, gained the most in uh, percentage uh, points uh, compared to its uh, retail value and yet it's gone from the, OS, uh, from the website and uh, as uh, my friend Captain Danny calls it in his uh, blog on uh, Jake's Rolex World uh, it, is a, it is a flex uh, from uh, Jean-Frédéric Dufour, the CEO of uh, Rolex, to, towards uh, Thierry Stern, the CEO of Patek. He's basically saying, all right, Thierry, I put out a turquoise dial. You come up with an actual Tiffany dial, co-signed with uh, Tiffany. You make it uh, limited edition. Uh, you auction one off. Uh, you put one on the wrist of... Uh, all the biggest mega stars, you know, LeBron, uh, Leonardo. And uh, as a result, yeah, my watch too benefits, you know, the price uh, skyrockets. But I kind of feel like uh, I look like a second fiddle to, uh, to yours. So let me show you what I can do. I could sell, of course, 10 million of them. Instead, I'm going to discontinue it. That's the, the flex. But it goes beyond this, uh, this, this pettiness because, of course, what it's going to do is uh, increase the FOMO, the fear of uh, missing out. Now, if they discontinue something uh, so popular after such a short time, well, they can discontinue anything like they did with, uh, with this perfect 39mm Explorer to make it in a size too small for me. They just came up with the uh, left hand uh, GMT because actually uh, Jean Frédéric uh, is uh, left handed, apparently. So I heard. So maybe it's just uh, one, one, one for him. And I can bet you that uh, a vlogger in the coming days will suggest that uh, it will only be produced for a very short period of time one year or two and uh, or maybe the, the, the colorway the sprite color the green and black will be produced for a very short period of time and so obviously the watch will always already come up at a inflated price from uh, from day one it's gonna be uh, I'm guessing somewhere in the 30,000s but if you add a bit more uh, flame to that fire it could easily be uh, in the 40, 50s, maybe 100,000, you know, if they say it's going to be produced in a, uh, quite limited editions. Uh, so Rolex ups the ante compared to Patek by never making limited editions, but by, by making you fear that they will stop producing from one, one year to the next, the, the models, which is even more powerful because then they are free to keep making the models like the Milgaus for example that everybody thought should get a, a refresh at least on the on the movement so there you go uh, they can't satisfy the demand and yet they create even more demand through this uh, this flex of discontinuing the uh, certain OP very popular OP color dials uh, Rotten Rolex part number one. That's it uh, for today. Let me know what you think in the comments about this 
event in the Rolex world. And uh, just to reiterate, I do love the watches themselves, but the hype is uh, <laughs> out of control. Have a good day, guys.